For the people hearing about the software testing work for the first time, the one interesting question is what are the test levels that almost all of the literature or online sources are talking about? So, a small presentation about what is test level and what are, how are they related to our testing work. So, first of all, here is the traditional B model of testing. It more or less means that here are the uh, fundamental phases of activity as defined, for example, by the waterfall process model approach. There's requirements gathering, planning work, design work and programming work. So basically all the development tasks. To uh, work with them, there's different types of testing work. For example, the programming is checked by unit testing work. The design work, the architectural design, is tested by the integration work and the planning work is tested by the systems testing. The gathered requirements and made decisions are tested by the acceptance testing which sees that everything works as intended and that the program already does everything it's supposed to do. So therefore all these different testing activities or ways of doing testing or scales of doing testing are matched into some activity of development. And this bar here means that as the project progresses we go from the requirements to planning work to design and so on and we also first go down into actually creating the modules and then towards up here by making one component then several then the entire system and finally seeing that all the requirements are met. So the question remains what are the test levels? Well uh, simply, the test levels are here. Unit testing, integration testing, system testing and acceptance testing. So the test levels or test level is more or less the definition of the scale in which the testing work is done. For example, the unit testing means that we are testing the programming work by conducting tests on one module. The integration testing means that we are de testing the design and well also programming work by seeing that the modules and parts work together they integrate into a larger total of components. The plans and how the system is thought out to work is tested with system testing and the requirements and acceptance testing match to each other uh, ensuring that the system works in a real environment. So basically, the test levels are the rough definition of scale of the testing work. As expressed here on this list, on unit testing we have only one module, its source code and the interfaces this module has. The integration testing has several modules and it focuses and oversees their interplay, ensuring that there's no problems arising from the combination of different modules. The systems testing or system testing tests the entire system when there's something that works, but it's usually working in a simulated environment or somehow restricted environment, since the acceptance testing is also testing the entire system, but in a real or close to real environment. This also means that the system testing is more or less internal acceptance testing, seeing that the product is in a state where it can be given to customer or where it can be introduced into a number of new elements which are present in the real or uh, real environment or with the real users and no longer necessary to keep in lab where the testers and people doing the development work can easily uh, change the environment or change the settings or cancel for example, the rollout or shut down the server if there's a real problem with the product.